Women's Tennis Association suspends all tennis tournaments in China over Peng Shuai's case. Thanks for watching Like Our Sports. Uh, keep updated with all your latest sports. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on our channel. Today in our news in tennis, the Women's Tennis Association has announced it is suspending all tennis tournaments in China amid concern for Chinese player Peng Shuai after she accused a top government official of sexual assault. The whereabouts of Peng, a former doubles world number one, became a matter of international concern almost a month ago, with Peng having disappeared after alleging that former vice president Zhang had sexually assaulted her. She then appeared at a dinner with friends at a children's tennis tournament in Beijing around 10 days ago. Photographs and videos are published by Chinese state media journalists and by the tournament's organizers show. A WTA chairman and CEO Steve Simon said in a statement that the safety of players is of paramount concern. He continues, when on November 2nd, 2021, Peng uh, posted all allegations of sexual assault against a top Chinese official, uh, the WTA recognized that uh, Peng's message had to be listened to and taken seriously. Uh, the players of the WTA, not to mention women around the world, deserve nothing less. Yes, uh, Simon said, uh, from that moment forward, uh, Peng uh, demonstrated the importance of speaking out, particularly when it comes to sexual assault, and especially when powerful people are involved. Uh, Peng said in her post, uh, even if it is like an egg hitting a rock, or if I'm like a moth drawn to a flame, inviting self-destruction, I will tell the truth about you. She knew the dangers she would face, yet she went public anyway. I admire her strength and courage. Since then, um, Peng's message has been removed from the internet and discussion of this serious issue has been censored in China. Chinese officials have been provided the opportunity to seize this censorship, verifiably prove that Peng is free and able to speak without the interface or intimidation, and investigate the allegation of sexual assault in a full, fair and transparent matter. Unfortunately, uh, the leadership in China has not addressed this very serious issue in any credible way. While we know where Peng is, I have serious doubts that she is free and safe, not to subject to any censorship, cohesion and intimidation. Uh, the WTA has been clear on what it is needed here and we repeat our call for a full and transparent investigation without censorship into Peng's sexual assault accusation. None of this is acceptable, nor can it become acceptable. If powerful people can suppress the voices of women and sweep allegations of sexual assault under the rug, then the basis on which the WTA was founded, equality for women, would suffer the immense setback. I will not and I cannot let that happen to the WTA and its players. Simon continues and says, as a result, and with the full support of the WTA board of directors, I'm announcing the immediate suspension of all WTA tournaments in China, including Hong Kong. In good conscience, I don't see how I can ask our athletes to compete there when Peng is not allowed to communicate freely and has seemingly been pressured to contradict her allegations of sexual assault. Given the current state of affairs, I'm also greatly concerned about the risks that all of our players and staff could face if we were to hold the events in China in 2022. Uh, that's all we have for your update today um, with the tennis updates. Keep a uh, locked on our channel, subscribe to our channel, comment, and don't forget to put on your notification. Thank you.